Hey guys, welcome to SourceFed. My name is Elliot Morgan. I'm Joe Beretta. So uh, here at SourceFed, we like to take current events and condense them down to a couple minutes, and then we pelt you with these current events all throughout the day. It's kind of what we do. But every now and then, a piece of news comes along that is so huge, we have to talk about it. And it's a big story, and it's still developing. By now, you probably know that a U.S. ambassador by the name of J. Christopher Stevens was murdered in Libya after what Secretary of State Hillary Clinton referred to as a small and savage group stormed the U.S. consulate and murdered him, along with three other Americans. Now, this story is still developing, but as of us standing here talking to a camera, this is what we know so far. Stevens was 52 years old and died Tuesday night as 20 attackers stormed the consulate with automatic weapons and rocket-propelled grenades. Almost a dozen Americans were inside being guarded by Libyan security, and the attackers burned down at least one building in the process. A Libyan doctor tried to save Stevens for 90 minutes, but he died, reportedly from asphyxiation from smoke. Also killed was Foreign Service Information Management Officer Sean Smith. Two more Americans also died, and their next of kin are still being notified. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton spoke highly of Stevens, stating, he risked his life to stop a tyrant and gave his life trying to build a better Libya. And President Obama responded by saying, I strongly condemn the outrageous attack on our diplomatic facility in Benghazi, which took the lives of four Americans, including Ambassador Chris Stevens. Right now, the American people have the families of those we lost in our thoughts and prayers. So what's this all about? Well, the attack on the consulate came on the coattails of a revolt in Cairo, Egypt, when protesters scaled the walls of the U.S. Embassy and tore down the American flag. This was in response to a movie about the life of the Prophet Muhammad, which negatively depicted the founder of Islam. The Marines are sending a quick response team of 40 to counteract the actions of what is believed to be a small group called Ansar al-Sharia. They resemble al-Qaeda in their ideology, but they have denied having any part of this tragedy. The interim president of Libya apologized to the U.S. earlier today and is now helping to evacuate Americans. And the movie that seems to have sparked all of this violence was made by an Israeli producer, and the president of Afghanistan stated, Desecration is not a part of the freedom of expression, but a criminal act that has now badly affected the righteous sentiments of 1.5 billion Muslims all over the globe. And the Afghan Taliban has since called on Afghanistan to prepare for battle with the U.S., and the country has banned access to YouTube because YouTube is hosting the anti-Muslim movie. Mitt Romney came out and criticized the statement from the U.S. Embassy, which sympathized with the Cairo protesters. We here at SourceFed would like to send out our thoughts and prayers to the victims of this horrible situation. And what this all seems to boil down to is religion, particularly a group of religious extremists. Personally, I think the problem with religious extremists is the extremist part, and not necessarily the religious part, though those two are certainly oftentimes linked. I think there's more of a tendency for us to blame people's adjectives when people do horrible things. So if a religious person commits a crime, it's because they're part of a religion, and this leads to a lot of things like racism and homophobia. It's weird because the common denominator in human violence is humans, and I wish we could all get along and love each other, but a lot of people don't wish that, and you end up with these horrible incidents. As in the situation that we're experiencing right now, this is extremists being extreme, and it sucks, and I wish it wasn't the case, but these type of people exist, be they physically violent because of their religion or emotionally violent, as we often see in our own country. People use religion for all sorts of horrible things, and it's sad. So we'll keep you updated on this story as it develops, and I'm sure there will be a lot more coming out in the coming days. I'm Elliot Morgan. I'm Joe Beretta. This is SourceFed.